volume knob, control number 7. That's the default for volume in the MIDI interface. There really isn't any need to look through the uh, submenus here, but just show them. I never use the uh, host host number, only the uh, MIDI control number. If one of the uh, knobs doesn't have a MIDI control number assigned, in the synthesizer you can assign your own number, like 119 is usually empty. As you see there, 118, 117. So here we're going to call up volume. I've already uh, drawn the curve here, in the freehand mouse mode here in the control area. It's the middle mouse mode here at the bottom. Here you see the yellow notes. These are inline uh, like control sequences, like a serial printer would have escape sequence. Uh, these notes don't actually play any note. They're again meta. They control the uh, legato mode, staccato, a fall, attack with crescendo. That's what these uh, yellow keys do here for the pop brass. They're way down low. If you scroll down your MIDI, hold the Alt key and scroll down, you'll see your. You'll see where you can draw your yellow key notes. The velocity can be real low. One, five. Keep them out of the way from your velocities of your regular playable notes. Here's the velocity of our regular playable notes. When this plays, you'll see the volume knob dynamically move. Volume curve does, it gives, can give a little more attack, enhance the attack, you can enhance the, uh, the crescendo, and you can give the crescendo more impact. The yellow key by itself does pretty good crescendo, but if you want a crescendo on a shorter note, and you gotta have a fast crescendo on a short note, You'll have to use the volume dynamically here, and you'll see the volume knob move with the curve. This is the line drawing mode. I'm not drawing anything, just kind of, here's the select drawing mode down there. Now go to the left for the list editor here. You can find, tweak a level here. That's the first bar of volume. All of these show volume. When there's a flat area, you can just have one volume, and and the uh, editor will fill in the uh, rest. You don't have to have a big line of uh, volumes when they're at the same level. When you're drawing freehand curves, there's going to be a line for every every possible increment in the editor. Every knob in the uh, synthesizer interface, every control in the synthesizer interface, if they're, if they're not assigned a MIDI control number, you can assign one. You can turn the uh, entire effect, like chorus, reverb, filter, delay, you can turn the whole item off. So there is a lot of customization capability in the Magix synthesizers. 
This is actually documented in the help file. Stumbled onto it. The yellow keys, I never found any doc on that, but you scroll, hold the Alt key and scroll down. That's where you're gonna see any yellow notes that have been pre-plotted from some of the Magic's uh, MIDI samples that play with, that come with the synthesizers. Since the dry wet uh, slider doesn't come preset, I selected uh, number 119. So yeah, the Magic's MIDI edit editor and also Samplitude MIDI editor. You can really fine tweak every note if needed. And if you got chords, well, you can only uh, modify, I guess, the whole chord at a time. But any particular note in the temporal timeline can be modified here. I'm using the line drawing tool. This last run here, I'm going to turn off the delay, and that can also be turned on and off dynamically, the whole. Each filter can be turned off dynamically, so even that doesn't have to be statically set, fixed just one time. That one comes pre-assigned with 49, so that one was all ready to go. Uh, when to turn off a whole filter, like the uh, delay on that knob, you can either set the uh, control value to 127 or 0, on and off. These knobs here are the, the one on the right side is the mod wheel. One on the left is pitch bend. Not all the synthesizers support those two wheels. If you're, you got a short MIDI thing on, in the MIDI timeline, you can just uh, run the rockers real time. And if they pitch bend, if they tremolo, th then they're supported. Pitch bend is pre-assigned to pitch bend. The mod wheel is pre-assigned to mod wheel. Some of the synthesizers have a pitch knob that you can assign like to number 115 and control uh, the piano's pitch knob like Concert to Grand Piano has a pitch knob. It isn't assigned, but again, you, you can assign it yourself. And the knob moved dynamically with the uh, freehand drawing that I did. Next will be uh, the mod wheel. That one I'm going to be a little more selective. I just want the big, biggest crescendo to have the uh, tremolo. <laughs> <laughs> 